Hey everyone, my name is Chris and Create Daily. And today I'm going to show you how to create a fun fly through transition using Adobe After Effects. My favorite part about this effect is how customizable it is. You can use it with text, logos, images, or anything for that matter. Now it's time to jump into After Effects. So we're in After Effects here and I have this really cool FPV drone shot. And what I'm doing here is just scanning through the entire clip to see which part of the clip I actually want to use. The reason for that is because shortly we will be applying a 3D camera tracker and when you have a really long, let's say 20 second clip, that's going to take a lot of time for the 3D camera tracker to work. So I'm going to scrub through here and see, okay, I want my text to animate in right here on this ledge. So I'm just going to go right past it at, at about the 13 second mark and I'm going to click Alt End Bracket and then that trims that up. And then to start, that starts off a little bit too slow for me. So I'm just going to bring this in to start like right here, right here at the five second mark. So I'm going to click Alt End Bracket. Then I'll bring things here to the beginning here. Now what I'm gonna do is click on my clip here and apply track camera. If you don't see this, you can go to window and make sure that the tracker is selected on. But right here, I'm just gonna click track camera and we'll let it do its thing. All right, so now when we click on our 3D camera tracker effect, we see all of these little points. And what this 3D camera tracker effect does is that it creates these points interpreting this clip with this 3D camera tracker to say, hey, these are points in which we can make something look like it fits within the clip itself. Now, if that sounds like a mouthful, let me show you what I'm talking about. We'll just go to our ledge here where we're going to be animating in our text. As an example, I'm just going to click and hold down and highlight all of these clips here. Right click, create solid in camera. And right away, we see this blue square staying within the clip. So this is like a really simple breakdown of how the 3D camera tracker can work. But it's really cool because it allows you to actually composite and put things in your clip if it were actually in the shot itself. So I'm just gonna undo that and we're gonna go back to our actual ledge here. And I'm just gonna find a point that's not moving that I feel like would be a really good part to track. So I feel like this pink point was a good one to go to try out. So we're gonna right click, create text and camera. So it automatically creates text and we see, okay, cool. And let's just make sure there's no jittering. And as you see off the top, there is a little bit of jitter. It jumps a little bit, but we're gonna be animating this in. So we're gonna see if yeah, it's a little too jumpy, so we're gonna look for another point. So I'm gonna go, let's try right here. All right, I like this point a lot better, so this is what we're gonna use. All right, now what we're gonna do is update our text. So we're gonna change this to travel, and we're going to play around with the orientation a little bit. Now, it's important that we want the entire frame to be filled with the full letter because we're gonna be using this as a transition. So right here, it's going almost between the letters, which looks really cool, but this isn't what we're trying to do for today's effect. I could either scale this word up or I can move it over a little bit. So all I'm gonna do here is go to the right a little bit and I'm going to bring things down and I'm going to scale them because we want our entire frame to be filled with the letter. All right, next thing we wanna do is actually animate our text. So I'll show you guys how we're gonna to animate today's text. I'm gonna start our animation right around the four second mark here. So I'm going to go to our animator and click position. And then I'm going to add an opacity animator as well. And with our position, we're just gonna bring it down. And with our opacity, we're gonna change that to zero. Now we're gonna go up to a range selector here, click a keyframe for start, and we're gonna go up one second, and we're going to animate this in just like this. So here's what we have. All right, that doesn't look bad, but I think we could spice this up a little bit better. I'm gonna go down to advanced here, and I'm going to change ease low from zero, which is the default to 100. And this is just gonna change the easing of how it animates in. All right, I like the way this looks, but I wanna just sweeten it up a little bit more. So what we're gonna do is go down to our advanced section here, within our text animator, and I'm gonna switch randomize order to on. So now it's gonna randomize its order of how it animates in. And I really like the way this looks. And say we wanted it to animate in in a different order or something like that, we could just change the random seed. So now it animates in in a completely different way. And this is what we're gonna stick with. So the next thing we're gonna do is bring in our second drone clip. So I have my second clip right here. And similar to before, I wanna find a good starting point within the clip for when we do our transition. So I know our transition is gonna come in like right here and um, you know, my best practice that I found with this is almost doing a little bit of a match cut. And this shot at this point is going pretty straight for the most part. So when I'm going through our clip here, I wanna find a, a point where it's gonna go pretty straight too. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but I kinda like this area where it starts. And it can kinda pick up right where this clip is leaving us off at. So I'm gonna just hide our clip uh, momentarily. I'll bring our text layer to the top and we're gonna back up a little bit and 
I'm just gonna drag our clip back. Now I'm gonna mat our new clip to our text layer. So I'm just gonna take our pick clip here and mat it in, and then we will show our clip. And now we can see how it animates in just like this. It's really weird how it jumps from being almost full screen back to the original clip. And the reason for that is because we have this entire clip matted to our text, but we only need it matted for when we actually see the text. So uh, I'm just gonna go to right here where we have it at full screen. And this is why we scaled up the text earlier, by the way. So we have the full screen point of view of our new clip. So I'm gonna take my new clip and I'm gonna select Control Shift D and that's going to split the clip in half. And then I'm going to remove the mat that we applied originally because this clip is now split into two. So now here's what we have. It's gonna animate in and now it's gonna to stick to the full screen, which looks really cool and it just flies in like that. And essentially this is really how you do the effect, but this is a little hard to read and I wanna spice this up just a little bit more. So stick with me for a second. What we're gonna do is change this first text to travel fill. We're going to duplicate this text. We're going to change it to travel stroke. I'm going to show our text so we can see it. I'm gonna to go to our character panel, click this button right here, this little corner arrow button. It says swap fill and stroke. So right away when I click it, it turns our letters into a stroke instead of a fill. And this way we can just read it a little bit better. Now what I wanna do is make it pop out just a little bit more. So I'm going to add a fun little glow because is it really a tutorial if we don't add deep glow? So I'm gonna add glow here and I'm going to change the exposure to something like 0.25, something pretty low. So now here's what we have and it goes through and it looks really nice. And the cool thing about this is that it stands out a little bit more, adds just a little bit more contrast. Now, if we want, we could take this a step further, which is what we're gonna do, and it's really simple. So remember before how we messed around with our random seed? We're gonna go down to our random seed again for our animator, for our stroke text. And I'm gonna go down to range selector, advanced, and with random seed, I'm gonna just move this around. So now, when we watch it through, you're gonna see some of the actual text animated in at a different time. So we're gonna have our stroke text animate in and then also our fill text animate in and it's all gonna be randomized, which is really cool. And this is how you make a fun drone fly through effect using Adobe After Effects. Let me know what you think in the comments about today's tutorial. Thanks for watching and stay creative.